See what Coach Patrick brings here, Skittles. If you're teaching pros not drinking energy drinks, find a new pro. Boys, we're finally back. And due to popular demand, we have to bring back Coach Patrick and Coach Kevin. And the class. <laughs> and the not class so is Coach back Kevin. too. Not by uh, my own choice today, something we've never done before. Grab one. What do we got? I don't even know how to say this, this brand. What is this? Diadem, um, Diadem. I, I want to say diadem, but I feel like it's diadem. In most languages, it would probably be probably diadem. in Europe. It's diadem over here. We're gonna go with diadem. Got the Nova version three. I've never tried anything diadem. You? I hit with their previous model a couple years ago, but just in some teaching lessons, never really gave them a real hit. Never Coach tried Kevin. it. Brand new. And since we're committed to uh, diadem, we have put in the same string in both rackets. So the Flash, which is one of their softer polys, which we like here as, as coaches, we're getting worn down literally every day. <laughs> we put the blue one in the 100 Nova version and in the Tour version with the white strings. That way we can also keep track of them. Easier for the viewers to see which racket you're playing with. Other than that, let's do this, boys. Break time, boys. Let's go. <laughs> what do we got here? What is this? We got the, the gamer fuel here. <laughs> zero, zero sugar, so oh, okay, the boys. we're living that healthy life. You got your lunch here? Yeah, little uh, protein cookie. 7-Eleven <laughs> special. Oh, trash cookies. Hey, Costco, Costco, guys. Oh no, these hey. are trash. No, no, these are the good these stuff. Are... And then we got the Aloha, a little cleaner. Oh. That's probably Coach Kevin's right there. Oh, okay. You want that, that jawline? <laughs> right here. Very good. Every day for uh, teaching pro boys, oh, yeah. energy drinks and protein bars. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, okay. if you're teaching pros not drinking energy drinks, find a new pro. Yeah, they're not, <laughs> they're, they're not grinding. They're not committed. <laughs> Gentlemen, it is time for serves. Let's test them out, which is also the reason why I'm checking out. I'm gonna let you guys serve. <laughs> you got the Nova Tour and the 100 with Coach Kevin. All right, let's see what we got, boys. So like in other videos, I really like this setup here. We got feet together, forward into the court. Feet apart over here with Coach Kevin. A little more up, a little more Federer style. We got a little bit more explosive, a little Medvedev style here. Both great serves. These two coaches are around 5'11". So we're on 5'11". Six, right? <laughs> six foot on a good day. Yeah. Nice. Not nice. <laughs> I'm also 5'11 with no serve. All right, you're gonna switch rackets. Very nice. Coaches, so what do you think about serving? We got the tour and the 100. What do you, let's start with Coach Patrick. Yeah, super easy pop. I actually like the lighter one a little more for serves. Felt like I could actually hit my spots pretty well with still getting easy pop. Very good. Yeah. Coach Kevin? Yeah, I felt they were similar for me. Um, you know, the heavier one definitely felt a little bit more controlled and less oomph. Um, I like my second serve, I like the spin off of it. My out wide serve, every time I went for it, went in, and that's one of my strengths, so I really liked that. It felt tight, uh, whereas with like a pure drive, that always goes flying, it's way too much. So I liked that. Uh, it would take a little bit of getting used to, I think, for me, but it's pretty cushioned, nice feel. Very good, thank you. 
So the Nova 100 would actually be nice to have a review to compare it with the uh, Coach Patrick racket, the T5 300, the Pure Drive as well, obviously, and the new Speed MP. The Nova Tour, definitely we would like to compare it heads on with the Pure Drive Tour. That would be a great review. Maybe even the, the Pro Staff X in there. And the Clash, of course, we can do a nice comparison review to this racket right here. Good job, coaches. Let's go ahead and get your overall opinion on the Nova Tour uh, and the 100. Coach Patrick, what do you think? Which one do you prefer? Uh, I think overall I prefer the Tour. I'd say with both, I'm a big fan of the, the paint job. I think they did, they crushed it. This matte finish, they got that little sparkling pearlescent stuff on the inside. I think it's very clean looking. But I think which one I prefer, I prefer the Tour. Felt a little more solid, under control on my ground strokes. Good pop on both. I felt like I, I swing pretty fast. I like to always swing fast and uh, felt like I couldn't really do that. I almost had to slow down to keep the ball on the court with the lighter one. And that's not my game. That is not where I am comfortable. So this would not be a racket for me. It did feel awesome on the serve though. I felt like I could bomb it and I could pick my spots with it pretty well. All right, very good. Coach Kevin, so before you even say anything, any of these two replaces your clash? Not a chance. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, which one do you prefer? So I agreed. I felt like the heavier of the two, the tour was a little bit more controlled. For me, the big issue is that ground strokes would fly a little bit, even my serve would fly a little bit at times, and I can't do that. I'm a um, lifetime pusher who's finally caught up in technique and now is trying to rip a little bit more, and so I'm missing because I'm not used to swinging that way. So I can't afford to have a, a racket that's gonna have it go two feet out every once in a while. It has to go in. So for me, the tour was a little bit nicer. I like the way they both look. I like the white string a lot. I'm a huge fan of white string. Um, I think the paint job is awesome. Yeah, and you don't see a lot of white uh, polys out there. And the, you're right, the string was actually quite nice. Never tried the, their brand of string. So yeah. uh, all three of us like the string. Good yeah. job. Diadem. So yes. there's more power in the Nova than in the Clash. Good to know. All right, very good. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be back soon. I have played with the Nova 100 and the Nova Tour for about three weeks now, and here is what I like and dislike about them. The Nova 100 is super comfortable, and you get easy power. I found myself taking this stick out to my lessons more than anything else. Like, think of this racket as a slightly, slightly less bulky and more comfortable pure drive. It comes close to the power of the pure drive, but I think it's a little bit more cushioned and flexible, which I really like. It is suitable for a wide variety of players looking for comfort and power, but maybe with less arm problems than like most powerful and bulkier rackets will bring to the table. And no, it is not as flexible as the Clash or the E-Zone 100, in my opinion. The only thing I didn't like was when I was playing point with the Nova 100 against like elite players, I was struggling controlling the pressure from them but i probably would just need to get used to it more play with it longer or add some lead tape overall a very nice racket the nova tour is a great choice for higher level players looking for tons of pop but also uh, wants a stable frame to withstand that serious heat from the other side of the net i totally love the specs on this frame this is exactly what i usually play with the extra weight gives it a bit more stability than the nova 100 but again it didn't feel as stiff as other heavy power frames out there on the market i actually think it felt a bit like the old school extreme pro which is one of my all-time favorite power sticks so great job Dynam. since my serve is complete trash after two shoulder surgeries it was nice to get some added help both the hundred and the nova tour felt super nice serving with this string pattern is the same in both 16 by 19 but a little bit open i actually prefer a slightly denser pattern like the old school pure drive or the extreme pro they were still 16 by 19 but a bit more condensed this way, you get plenty of pop from the uh, thicker frame, but some nice added control and solid feel from the closer and denser string pattern, just in my opinion. The only downside to the Nova Tour, I would say, was the volleys, maybe. They felt solid enough, but lacking a bit of feel. And the same with the slice. I don't think this frame is made for one-handers that just storms to the net and volleys a lot. Of course, you can hit a 1E with these frames, no worries, felt nice but you are sacrificing some feel in the transition games and your net game with these types of frames. Let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these and what you thought of them. I did see they actually have an extended version of the Nova, which uh, weighs about 305 grams. I mean, that might be my new favorite racket without having tried it. I would love to get my hands on that. And if I do, I'll definitely upload a video. I just love extended frames, but few brands offer them in a, a wide variety. That's it for now. I'll see you again soon and sorry for the long break. Life just took a tough turn and I had to focus on other areas. Thanks for watching and take care. <laughs> Come on. Oh. 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 Oh.
He's feeling himself. That's, I mean, again, That's how you know you're grinding. we're committed or not. <laughs> Good, Patrick. Four more lessons today? Yeah. yeah. I, let her eat up. So I didn't fall all the way through, but my attic uh, did not have <laughs> a step where they thought there was a step. I don't know what's going on with these lines here. I'm a little it, confused myself. I mean, it's just too much. Some sort of game. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Welcome back. The, the crowd, the millions of fans have been waiting for us, you know.